can I would stand the shaft up higher get your hands higher and then we can try to return the shaft mm -hmm. to, the same position. to the same position as opposed to have the hands in my mind for your build your hands are too low there okay. um, but let's see what happens you know does your head move up I didn't notice it moving up much I saw it moving laterally some but I didn't see a lot of up movement takeaway is good okay. there's a little Still up a little movement little up movement in the head but I wouldn't call that steep the shafts parallel to the plane oh because I mean that was a big one of the big things we were working on was shaft in line with the left arm the yeah arm. yep so you're happy yep with that there. that's a little bit high but yeah. but but again this downswing um, is is in the acceptable range plane wise it's okay. it's a little steep mm -hmm. I mean but it's in plane can you hit good shots with that yeah okay. um, now again, as I would probably say, ninety-nine percent of the people I teach have early extension, and what that means is there's the right knee moves forward, the right hip moves forward, mm -hmm. and that steepens the shaft. Mm -hmm. Would that would it be helpful to return the shaft back to the same angle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's try to link. Let's try to lift the shaft up a little higher. But here's the thing. Your club face is king. I want to be able to control the face because that controls direction. Your plane is pretty good. Okay. Yeah, honestly, that shot was not the miss. Oh, really? That was not that bad. Okay. Yeah. What I've been finding is when I'm not trying to hit it a specific direction with the sort of new swing plane, uh -huh. it tends to just leak a little bit to the right like that. Oh, which all right. Overall, I'm all right with, other than the fact that in the past when I tried to hit a cut it ended up being like I was talking about just getting lazy through the ball coming over it and throwing the wrist open yeah um, and so I kind of think my better go-to shot would be a draw yep and we had talked about you know getting like I said getting that club back Again, yeah, a little, a little deeper. More, yeah, a little flatter. Yeah, little I mean, my preference to hit a draw, your hands would have to be deeper. And then, and then coming, kind of dropping it down very slightly, and then coming through. So here's down. a drill: stand on a wall. We'll just call this the wall. Uh -huh. Your goal is to take your hands and put them on the wall. Now you won't get there without lifting your head. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you don't have the flexibility, mm -hmm. and I don't even know if I do. Mm -hmm. But basically, if I said put your butt on the wall, take it straight back, and then swing your left arm across your chest and put it on the back wall, that would be ideal to hit a draw. Okay. Because the deeper your hands are, the closer your hands are to that wall, mm -hmm. the easier it is to drop the club in in, a, in the plane we're looking for. Like, okay. if your hands are right here, yeah. they automatically want to come down here. Right. If your hands are right here... They automatically want to come down over here. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So that's that's all. Okay. Now, if you physically can't get there, that's another issue. We'll we'll take it as it goes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, your hands are in pretty good shape. If you stopped your swing right there yeah. and didn't lift it, You're just coming up a little bit at the end. Right? Yep. Okay. Almost. It's like part of the down with my body. Yeah. Well, you do move forward. You see how the pelvis moves toward the ball. Yeah. This right knee, I would take a alignment stick, mm -hmm. stick it in the ground, mm -hmm. just in front of your right knee, mm -hmm. like I've got there. Let me take away all these. If I said stick to a stick right here, right? Mm -hmm. Don't touch the stick, right? Mm -hmm. So look at the see how far forward your knee comes. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why you push it to the right. So it all goes hand in hand. If the left leg were to straighten, the right knee would move toward the left knee. Okay. When the left leg buckles, right. the right knee goes forward and everything moves toward the ball. Okay. So you sort of, we call that early extension, but it's really like a pelvic thrust. Um, is it severe? I wouldn't call your case severe. I've seen worse. Mm -hmm. I've seen some guys over here. Mm -hmm. But it is it is a factor. Um So, what I would say is try to keep the right heel down in transition to get the right elbow in front of the right hip. Mm -hmm. 
it'll slow the hips down mm -hmm. and allow the arms to get in front of the body. If you spin mm -hmm. and you leave the arms back here, you can't catch up. So you got to feel like your arms are getting back in front of your body, almost like your lower body's a little more quiet. Okay. 